Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, two quarter circles are intertwined such that a green shaded region is conceived as you can see in this figure. And moreover, the total length from one end to another end is three units and the radius of this quarter circle is two. And let me make it very clear that both of these quarter circles are identical. And now we are going to calculate the perimeter of this green shaded region. Please don't forget to give thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we did is we labeled these points as A, B, C. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let's draw two auxiliary lines connecting point C to points A and D. Let's suppose there's a point D on this line over here. Then we are going to connect C and D. And likewise, I'm going to connect A and C. And here's our much nicer diagram. And here's our next step. Let's focus on the radius of this quarter circle. The radius of this quarter circle is two and the radius of this quarter circle is two as well since these both of these quarter circles are identical. And we can also see that this is also the radius. So this is going to be two as well. And now we know that the total distance from this one end to this end is three units. And we know that this radius, this distance is two. So that means this distance is going to be three minus two is gonna be equal to one. So thus the distance DC turns out to be a one and this radius AC is two units. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle ADC. And here I have copied down this triangle ADC, as you can see, where this side length DC is one, and this side length AC is two. And this is a 30, 60, 90 special triangle. And if this longest leg is two times its shortest leg, then the angle opposite to this shortest leg is going to be always 30 degrees. So therefore, the angle opposite to this shortest leg is going to be, this angle is going to be 30 degrees. So thus our angle DAC turns out to be 30 degrees. And here's our next step. We know that this whole angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 90 minus 30 is going to be 60 degrees. So therefore our angle CAB, this angle turns out to be 60 degrees. And in this next step, let's go ahead and calculate the length of this uh, red arc of this uh, shaded sector. We are talking about this uh, red arc. You can see this part. And here's the formula for the length of the arc of the sector. Length equals to 2 pi r times theta divided by 360 degrees where the radius r is going to be two units and our angle theta is going to be 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and calculate the length of this red arc of this sector. I'm going to call this length L. So length L is going to be 2 pi r in our case is radius uh, 2 times angle theta is 60 degrees divided by 360 degrees. So we are going to get L equals to 2 pi times 2 become 4 pi and then times 60 divided by 360 it reduces to simply 1 over 6. So therefore, our length turns out to be 
2 pi over 3 units. So therefore, this length turns out to be a 2 pi over 3. And now by symmetry, this length is equal to this length. If this length is 2 pi over 3, then this length is going to be 2 pi over 3 as well. So therefore, the perimeter of this green shaded region, P is going to be 2 times this length L and we know L is 2 pi over 3 so P is going to be simply 4 pi over 3 units. Now if we replace pi by 3.14 our this parameter is going to be simply approximately equal to 4.18 seven units. Thus the parameter turns out to be approximately equals to 4.187 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.